Okay, what do you see, BB? I see a streak of light. Yes, and I'm swinging a light bulb, and yet you see a streak. This is based on a phenomenon known as the persistence of vision and is the basis for movies, including home movies, which you and I are going to make. Okay, would you turn on the light? Okay. okay. And come on over here to the desk, because this is where I've got the home movies. Now, you saw a streak of light, right? Yeah. That's because the energy from the light was going into your eye and then finally going to your brain and lasts on the back of your eye and, and in the whole pathway up to your brain for about a tenth of a second. In the same way, that when I hold up this little sign, well, the light from that's also going into your eye and being registered up on your brain. And takes That whole process takes about a tenth of a second. Same way as the light bulb. Now if I turn this over on this side. It says M period Z A D S W L. W -L. Okay, well the light from the light bulb or the light that's reflected from here is going into your eye and being registered on your brain and it takes about a tenth of a second. Now what, remember when I sw was swinging the light bulb, you saw a streak? Watch what happens when I twin spin this. Oh, neat. What do you see? Mr. Wizard's World. Now, why? I don't know. Well, if it takes each of those images about a tenth of a second to be registered on your brain, what happens if I spin it faster than a tenth of a second? You'll see both of them. Yeah. In effect, your, your brain will combine the two. Well, that's the basis now for making movies, including home movies. And to simplify the whole process, a friend of mine, Bud Wentz, has written a book called Paper Movie Machines. And inside are the instructions for making all different kinds of variations of presenting a series of images to your eyes. I put some of them together. Here's one of the simplest ones. Give it a little spin. Right. <laughs> See, what this is, is a pin or, or a bar going through there and then it, four images on there. Watch what happens when I spin it. <laughs> what do you see? The trees are moving and the, the bicycle, the bike, bicycle wheels are going around right. and the feet and, are going up and And the feet are down. going up and down. Well, let's take a look at it, uh, each individual frame. Now, so what do you see there? Where are the trees? Just in the one spot three trees and they're right, almost right behind her. Okay, now watch what happens when I show you the next one. They moved. Yeah, the trees moved a little bit. Yeah. So are the, are the bicycle rider's feet. And notice the position of those little uh, arcs inside the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> they moved again. They moved again, right. And here. And again. Yeah, so here now when you spin it, you see oh, he's cool. riding down the street, right? Yeah. Well, the, this is presenting four frames of a movie to your eyes. Now, you can present more of them if you have some method of presenting a series of images to your eye, one after the other. And here's another way. Some of the early motion picture machines were based on this idea. You know what to do? Yeah. Just, just. What do you see? I see the clown juggling. <laughs> yes. Now, why? Where's the clown first? Where are the images? On the inside of the outside oh, rim. Oh, rim, okay. And how do they get to your eye? The picture reflects off the mirror mm -hmm. and the light goes to your eye. Okay, so when the image is, when the, the mirror is in that position, you can see the image. Yeah. And then what happens with the next image? The next mirror... It... Presents the next image. Yeah. And they must do it quicker than a tenth of a second so that you can see one after the other. Okay, give it another spin. That's neat. <laughs> Isn't that neat? So that's one way of, another way of presenting a series of images to your eye. Here's, a, here's another one. Look through the slit and spin it. Now what do you see? A whole bunch of racehorses. Is, is he going in the right direction? Yeah. Is he I, running in the right direction? Uh, no. Go, he's going the other way. Okay, we're making him go forward. Yeah, now they're going in there. Uh, okay. Way. Now, how, do, how are the images presented to your eye one after the other in this case? Where are the images, first of all? On the inside of the outside rim. On the inside rim. of the rim, yes. And what are you looking at? Um. Through, through the little slit, yeah. right? So that the little slit, in effect, presents one image after the other. And that's how you make these homemade movies. It's neat. <laughs> now, probably the, the most uh, movie-like of all the various uh, devices of, of presenting a series of images to your eye is called the flip book. And here is, is one in which you, Bud has got them all in the book and all you have to do is cut them out and put them in a stack, like a stack of cards, and you present... <laughs> <laughs> what do you see? 
the legs are moving and then the man falls down. Yes. In fact, a long time ago, they used to have a series of pictures inside of a, a box and you turned a handle and you saw pic one picture after another like that. And uh, people paid five cents to go in and see them. <laughs> so that one is a series of pictures, but you can also use a series of drawings. And this is one of my favorites. And I think it's, it's simple enough so that you should be able to do something similar to this at home and make your own homemade movies based on the idea of persistence of vision. That's neat. <laughs>